truck in here. I'm gonna drop another video for y'all. Um, today what I'm gonna talk about is um why you should get a CDL. Um and, and, and this, this is just personally, you know, my opinion on why I think anybody should get a CDL or, or why one should get a CDL, I guess I should, I should say. Um my number one reason, freedom. Um, well, let me rephrase that. Number one reason would be money. Number two reason would be freedom. Uh, I'm going to start out with number one reason, uh, which was the money. Um, I feel like if, when you go and get your CDS and you become a truck driver, ain't no easier money in the world to be made than doing this right here. Like it, it really ain't, ain't no other ain't no other job in the world gonna pay you as much as trucking to pay you and you work this hard. What I'm doing now, I'm working right now, y'all. Uh, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but I'm I'm driving right now. And I know at the end of the week, my check gonna be twice as much as the regular everyday person working. A, a nine to five, you know what I'm saying? And that's not me bragging. That's just what it is. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I, I've never been one to, you know, try to put anybody down and then like that. You know, but at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. And um, I just feel that that's that's the reason you should you should uh you should get get you, get you a CDL and become a truck driver. Cause chances are, if you're working a nine to five, you're getting underpaid anyway. You're working too hard for the little bit of chump change that you're getting anyway. Unless you like a, a doctor or a nurse, and I ain't talking about no CNA. Cause a lot of people think they fucking nurses because they got a CNA certificate, and I ain't not getting no CNA. But I'm just saying, um, you're not a a nurse, you're not a RN. If you're a, uh, if you a CNA, just because you wear scrubs to work don't mean you somebody. Put it like that. And um, I say that because I've noticed I've been getting a few uh, few more female subscribers here lately, and um. I know a lot of females, it, it usually be more more so females that become CNAs than males or whatever. I mean, there's females out there that probably got that mentality thing just because they wear scrubs to work, they are a doctor or a nurse or somebody, but that ain't the case, y'all. Like I said, again, I'm not knocking nobody that do that. That being straight up. Working harder for less amount of money. That just, that, that's not good. If you overwork, being overworked for not enough pay, that ain't what you want to do. That's why I got out of the regular workforce. I used to work at a nursing home. For those of you that don't know, before I got in the truck, I worked at a nursing home. And I, I, I realized quick, you know, I'm working hard, but I'm only bringing home a hundred and $25 a, a week and I know I didn't put in all kinds of hours the week before and all of that and I'm like man I got something got to give so I did something about it I didn't complain about it I did something about it got about it when I went, went to CDL school got my license and the rest is history been doing it ever since I love what I do The second reason I, I feel once you get a CDL is the freedom. Yeah, you come out here and you become a truck driver. There is not a, another job out there where you have the freedom that you have with being a truck driver. I can I can pull this truck over at any time, anytime I get ready, and go and hop in the bed. Or if I'm hungry, 
I can stop, pull over and grab me something to eat. I don't have to ask nobody nothing. I don't have to answer to nobody. Um, I mean, you do have to have, you know, of course, time management and whatnot, you know, to make sure that you get your load where you got to go on time. But you may be one of them, them drivers that just don't care if the load there on time or not. You might be one of them. I'm not saying that's what, that's what you need to be <laughs> because you're probably not going to have a very good, successful trucking career. You're not going to really have no money because they are, in case you guys don't know, that go against your pay. If you late to some of these deliveries, that go against your pay. And also, if you be early, be too early on to some of these places, they'll charge you for being too early. No, it don't make sense. I, I don't understand why they would do that. Um, I guess I have to go and do a little bit more research on that, on why, you know, they would charge you for being early. But, like, that, that, that's a whole nother topic. That's a different video. Well, um, it's just a, certain things you got to learn in trucking, but um, but I'm getting I'm getting a little bit off topic right now. But um, the freedom, you don't have to answer to nobody. I can sit up here in this truck. I don't have to talk to nobody if I don't want to talk to nobody. I can it, it, I can talk on my phone. I don't I don't I'm not worried about nobody saying hey you need to get back to work. Put your phone down or or get off the phone or whatever the case may be. Nobody is in this truck to tell me what to do. I make my own decisions. You feel what I'm saying? So that, that's number two reason I feel like. And the number three reason I feel like you should go to old CDL school and become a truck driver is job security. Job stability. You know what I'm saying? They gonna always need truck drivers, y'all. You come out here, you become a truck driver, man. You know you got a job in your back pocket. As long as you don't get out here and mess up your license, you know, get get all uh, speed tickets and reckless driving and all of that on your license, man. You good to go. You got a job, literally in your back pocket for a lifetime, man. Truck truck drivers ain't going nowhere. You know they can they can say they got all. Uh, you know these automated trucks that drive themselves uh, that is a thing by the way <laughs> but I think it's so far ahead that it's gonna be a while before they get every truck on the road to be like that and me personally I feel like even when when that does become a thing I, I still feel like they're gonna have drivers inside the truck it, I feel like it's just like a like a plane that you put on autopilot like they don't have self-flying planes like you still got a pilot in that plane even though the plane technically it is flying itself but you got a pilot in there basically to to let me see what to observe to make sure everything is on the up and up you know what I'm saying so if something go wrong the, the the pilot can jump over and, you know, land the plane if need be by himself or do it himself. You know, so I feel like that that's gonna be the same way with these uh, self-driving trucks whenever they may hit the highway. I do know they working on some on now. I, I, uh, I seen a video on it. Not that long, but I can't really see it. And I know they've been talking about it. Hell, I know since I've been in, been in trucking, I've been in trucking a little bit over three years now. So I do know that it's a thing. Some, it's some company out in Jacksonville, I think it is, where they was doing test runs on the truck. But like I said, man, you gonna always have a have a job in trucking no matter what. Truck drivers ain't going nowhere for a long time, man. A long time. You know, cause you can be working at a, a regular nine to five job at a at a company, and that company go out of business. I see it all the time. Look at Kmart, Toys R Us, Payless. 
them just three companies right there that was like major companies, you know what I'm saying? Like major businesses that, you know, people went to. I remember going to Kmart, Payless, and uh, Toys R Us when I was a little kid. And, you know, I, th those are three places that I thought would, you know, really never go out of business. Like, I thought they had enough, enough uh, revenue coming in or whatever, I guess. Evidently, they didn't. I don't, I don't know what happened with it, but don't people out of their job now. And you know now they got to try to go and find something else. You know people, they ain't just handing out nine to five jobs like that. You know, and I, I'm sure some people can probably probably relate to what I'm saying. Like they're not just handing out nine to five jobs the way a truck driver can quit a job and 30 minutes later have another job at a different company. It's not that easy. It's so easy for us as truck drivers to to get another job. I can quit my job right now if I wanted to. Pick up the phone call another company and they'll be ready to uh they'll be ready to get me an orientation they, they very next orientation that they got coming up they'll be ready to have me in it it's, the, it's real simple so if, if you're looking for a career change that's gonna benefit you with benefit you uh financially you have freedom and job security, man. Come get, come get your CDL, man. Get your CDL. Get out, get, get out of there, man. Get out of that rut that you in. Why settle for less when you can have so much more? It don't make no sense to settle. Don't don't settle yourself. Don't don't, don't sell yourself short, man. Becoming a truck driver was the best decision I could have ever made, man. I got homeboys now, you know, we come from the same place, but you wouldn't know it if you look at me, what I'm doing, and then you look at them, and, 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 and like some of y'all, if y'all seen some of my homeboys, y'all be like, damn, B, you hang with them, and, and, and I ain't knocking my homeboy, but then like that, but I'm just saying, man, I, I got up out of there. I got out the hood. I got out the out the struggle. You feel what I'm saying? I get to see the country. I get paid to see the country, man. Who don't want to get paid to see other shit? Why would you not want to get paid to see the whole entire United States? And some people go into Canada and Mexico. I'm not, I'm not fooling with that, though. Definitely not Mexico. I'm not going to Mexico. I heard they like to catch folk over there and keep you over there. I ain't going. Nope. <laughs> but, but why not get paid to sightsee, man? I've seen just about every college football stadium, NFL, NBA arena. I've seen it all. And I got paid to see it. Now, now given you can't always stop and, and do, you know, fun stuff. But occasionally you will have time to go and do something in a city that you ain't never been to before. You have time to go and do that. And that goes back to that freedom. And when you got freedom to do other stuff, that falls into the money category. You got money to do it. Because you're a truck driver. Can't nobody, can't just anybody working a nine to five job just go to... New York City and uh or, 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 or go go to uh Massachusetts to the the uh NBA basketball hall of fame. Anybody just can't do that, just up and leave. But if you're a truck driver and you pass it through and you got time, why not stop? Go sightsee a little bit. You can do that when you're a truck driver. You can do that, man. But I ain't finna hold y'all up too much, too much longer, man. I'm finna go on and get up out of here. The video going on 15 minutes, man. It wasn't even supposed to be that long. <laughs> but um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell. 
follow me on Instagram at B underscore the trucker. That's B underscore T H A trucker. Add me on Snapchat at B Bizzle underscore three. That's B B I Z Z L E underscore 